Yo, what is good guys? It is Grateful back here today with another video and today I'm going to be showing y'all the jump shot settings that I use and the top three jump shots in the game. They changed up okay, no, settings with fun. the jumpers in this game. Um, a lot of people have probably figured it out, but if you're just getting the game, it's gonna be um, kind of hard to figure out which timing you wanna put it on, but everything else is usually the same. I'm just gonna get straight into the controller settings because it doesn't take that much time to explain the controller settings. So first of all, I run a meter off. You can run a meter on if you want to. I obviously turn the trigger effects off. I have them off in the settings, so I don't even have to worry about that. But um, yeah, I have the shot meter on free throw only because I like to time my free throws with the meter because I don't usually know the timing of them to be honest. The shot timing I have on shots only. I do not like timing my layups. I just don't. Um, yeah, simple as that. I just don't. And the shot timer release, it'll always put it on late, but I feel like the best is early. Um, you can go very early if you, you want your uh, jump shot like really 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 quick But early is probably the best and obviously if you want to have a slow jump shot these two um, And then I just have this on dribble moves just so when I flick up it doesn't shoot it That's really annoying to me. I am a lock so I'm not dribbling really at all So yeah, it's kind of like a niche thing for me I just don't like flicking up sometimes and it just shoots it. It's like why so um yeah, let's just get straight into the jumpers. Let's just go straight into it from here. And the first jumper I'm gonna be going over today is not a popular jump shot. I don't really see anybody talking about this jump shot, but um, yeah, let's get straight into it. I know that some people are struggling with jump shots because obviously they changed all these to the NBA players. There's no more release. Um, there's no more base three there's no more set shot 25 there's no more any of that so it's kind of hard to come into this game right away and know exactly what releases are good because they kind of changed everybody's release this year um so first of all the base on the first jump shot is denny avia this is one of my favorite um bases within next gen and it's not really popular and the first upper is gonna be kobe bryant it's another upper that i don't think that many people are talking about in one in an upper i've used on both gens that i obviously really like and um the next upper is probably one of the most popular ones in the game and that's going to be rudy gay probably the best upper in the game to be honest on current and next gen and the blending i'm going to be going 60 40. i like um more rudy gay in the jump shot and kobe bryant it makes it a lot faster and then obviously the release speed all the way up because you want it quick um so yeah let's get straight into the second jump shot right now so with the second jump shot the base I'm gonna be going is LaMelo Ball. This is probably for at least locks and centers other than Cole Anthony being a really popular base. This is probably the most popular base within the game and probably my favorite base within the game. Just definitively my favorite. And um, the upper is gonna be Rudy Gay again. I use Rudy Gay in basically every single one of my jump shots. There is not a jump shot that I make that, ha that doesn't have Rudy Gay. The jump shot is so clean. Um, and then on upper two, it's kind of a one out of left field, but I'm going Nicholas Batum right here. Nicholas Batum's jump shot this year makes you jump 10 times higher and you can really just jump over people kind of. It sounds kind of weird, but that's what I've been getting using this jump shot. I haven't played a crazy amount of park yet because this year is so badge heavy and it's so hard to just go into park and just play right away so i've been playing a lot of my career and this is the main jump shot that i've been using the whole time that i've been scoring 80 points in per game hitting everything doing it all in park and rec and all that i've been using this jump shot this is my favorite jump shot in the game and you're gonna want to go release speed all the way up again you want that release speed very very quick on this and then i would go 60 40 to rudy gay again to where you have 40% Nicholas Batum. And this shot is very fast. It's very consistent. You'll get the timing down very quick. This is an easy, just pick up and play jump shot. I wanted to show y'all this second just to get the um, other jump shot out the way. So yeah, I'm gonna move on to current gen now because I don't wanna leave y'all who play current gen out of this video. So yeah, let's get to current gen. I'll show y'all the last jump shot of this video. So let's just get right into the next release on current gen. I just want to get right into this and get this done kind of quickly for y'all who are still here tuning into the video. I know this video was a little bit longer for a jump shot video and I didn't show much gameplay, which I'm sorry for that. But obviously it's the first couple of days for a game and I just want, I just see y'all struggling finding jump shots and all that. And I just wanted to put this out for y'all just so y'all can get it easily. 
Um, the base I'm going to be put on on current gen is Lamello Ball, the same thing as the last jump shot. And the upper I'm going to be putting on an upper one is again Kobe Bryant. It's very similar to the next gen um, shot. And then on the last upper, I'm going to go Nicholas Batum for this jump shot. You can go Rudy Gay. It doesn't matter which one you go. And then I think on this jump shot, you'd want to go. See, I can't even put it in fully. I don't have 81.3. But you can go 60-40, 60-40 right back, 50-50. It doesn't matter which one. You can go either one. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. I think this jump shot is a very clean jump shot. It's very easy to learn. It's very easy just to pick up and play right away and all that. And um, really quickly, I will show y'all the settings I have on current gen. I think they reset every time too. So obviously you want to turn the meter off to free throw only. You want to have your jump shot timing on only. I like to have, again, the, the shot timing on shots only. Um, I don't care about the shot meter. I just have it on whatever. I don't know why on next gen it makes you lock into one or like the, it's just more complex to change it. But on pro stick, I have dribble moves again because I don't want to be flicking up and just shooting the ball again because I'm a lock. So, um, yeah, this is basically the end of the video. Um, next time on my jump shot videos, I will be putting gameplay on the end of it. I'm sorry about this time. It's just the first couple days. I just want to pump out this video because I know you guys are struggling with your jump shots right now. I see it in the, com or the comments, Twitter, everything. People need jump shots. So, um, yeah, hopefully this helped y'all and it's been great when I'm out. Peace. So after I recorded this video, I kind of realized I wanted to put in a little extra segment of showing y'all some of my favorite bases um, in the game. And so if y'all want to build your own jump shot, because I know some people like to build their own jump shot, but it's super hard to start off with, like just at the bases. It's just hard. I know it's, it's like that, like just going through all the bases and looking through and all that. It's just annoying. So I just wanted to show y'all um, some of my favorite. And obviously we went over in a video, Denny Avia is good Lamelo ball is good i feel like on a base wise kobe bryant would be pretty good too uh, kobe bryant is a very um where is it i don't even think i could put it on to be honest yeah i can't put it on here but if you can put on kobe bryant within your build um it's a very uh stable release and stuff i just like the stable releases for the bases i just um like it to be consistent like rudy gay Paul George is uh, stable too. I just, yeah, like I said before, I just like everything to be stable. And um, you have to look, you have to try out stuff for yourself. You can't just rely on other people because some jump shots might not be meant for you. Everybody's different. There's nobody that's gonna just make an amazing jump shot video and everybody in the community is gonna like that jump shot. It's different for everybody. So yeah, I just thought I would add a little extra segment, a little like one minute segment on the end of the video just to tell y'all about some of the bases that I like. So if y'all wanted to build your own jump shots. But yeah, that is the end of the video and it's been grateful and I'm out, peace.